Black Friday comes around, me and Sultanicals, we're gonna have a nice long list. We're gonna do the thing, and I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah. <laughs> Trini Girl Natural. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing one of my favorite annual videos today, which is my Black Friday sale predictions. So, I guess I'm a product buyer, product junkie, I guess, you know. <laughs> and my biggest inside trick is that I pretty much get all my products on Black Friday and I just use them throughout the year because Black Friday is when you can get like 50% off, 30% off, etc. Some of your favorite brands. So rather than buying full price one by one at the store, you know, I get great deals on Black Friday. If you buy enough products, you can generally get free shipping and everything. So it just works out really great. So I'm bringing all of my Black Friday experience and all of my product experience to you to help you quickly find top quality brands that offer great sales on Black Friday. So disclaimer, disclaimer, these are calculations from previous year's sales and some early broadcasts like TGIN and so I know for sure, but some of these are my predictions from previous years, so the numbers could change slightly. But all of these brands I'm pretty sure will offer really great sales. So if I mention it here, the sale is actually super great. The ingredients are actually super good. And I have a little tiny salt section for products that are really, really good. But the sale isn't that great, but the products are so good. You know what I mean? We gotta get them right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's get right to it. I'm gonna start off with the 50% off brands. So these are not like my HGs that I usually talk about. But I see them, you know, and I recognize them. And 50%... It's the truth, and I never lied to anybody. So I'm gonna go in order of the best sales, even if my HGs come later on. So the first one that usually is 50% off, again, I haven't seen the announcement for this year yet, is Main Choice. They often have like 50, 40% off. So that's one that I don't have a recommendation on because I have never tried them because they have so many lines. Like every time I think, okay, I'm going to try one, another one comes out and I'm like all lost again. Like which one should I try? And I'm really not sure that it's good for really ultra low porosity hair because I hear a lot of mixed reviews from people who have low porosity. So I don't know. If you like main choice, let me know what you're going to get down below. So look out on Instagram, look out on Facebook. Um, subscribe to their mailing list and this goes for all the brands to really get the latest announcements of the sales those are like the three key things to do to make sure you're on top of it so anything you hear that's interesting to you go ahead and follow on Instagram like on Facebook and subscribe to their mailing list to get the latest sale updates after main choice we have curls which is another line that you know I've tried a lot of their stuff and I do like some of their stuff some of their stuff, the ingredients aren't like what I would use, but I do remember liking the cleanser. Like I think it's a coconut creamy cleanser or something like that. I remember liking that. Um, I do have something that is an HD from them, which is the Lavish Curls Moisturizer. So I would recommend getting this one if you're looking for something to get. And I use this as a refresher spray, but it's really moisturizing. So it does have a lot of glycerin, so I use this more... I use it in the like fall, spring, fall and summer, but um, this feels so great on your hair and it's super moisturizing. So if you're looking for something to get from Kills, I would get this. I also have this and it never really did me wrong. So I haven't used it in a while, but it's good. It has nice moisture. It has like nice definition, a light hold. If you're looking for like a light moisturizing styling cream, I would give this a try, which is the Curls Creme Brulee. I also like this product. And people talk about the edge control, I don't really do edge control, <laughs> so people talk about that, so that's another one you can also try from Curls. And they're coming out with a new line specifically for type 4 curls, so if, you, you know, if you're type 4, if you just like a lot of moisture and stuff, they're coming out with something. So I might just pick up some of that on Black Friday, again based on the ingredients, but I'm definitely looking out for curls this Black Friday. I think the new line is called Cashmere and Caviar, excuse me if you please. So if you want to feel fancy, look fancy, I guess. And you like type 4 type products, then give us a try. Another one on the 50% off list is Sprouted Curlies. So I've never tried them, but I have seen at least previous years they gave 50% off. So I am on the lookout to see what sale they're going to come with. 
and they do have pretty good ingredients. The products that piqued my interest on their website would be the Moisture Moho Hair Custom and the Awapui Silkening Leave-In. I think those are the ones that I would try first and that would be if the 50% off sale is there and the shipping is good and everything. Usually I buy enough on Black Friday that I can get their free shipping so it's not usually an issue but if I'm only getting these two things I'll have to look and see what the shipping is like but I do have my eye on that so if I was getting that line for the curlies I would try those too they look kind of interesting so last but not least in the 50% off is J Monique so I love the company unfortunately her products don't really work for me but if you're looking to try it she has really great ingredients really interesting exotic ingredients and it's 50% off so that's another great one to try wish I could recommend some stuff but I think the one thing that was decent for me was like her mud wash so if you're looking for a nice really stimulating mud wash because it had like a lot of peppermint or a lot of tingle in it I would try that that was about the only thing that I could say that kind of worked for me from her line but try it you never know it may work for you so coming down just a little bit we have Honey's Handmade at 45% off I haven't tried her stuff either. She has a lot of stuff on her website and then only some of it you can actually add to your cart. So I'm not too sure what's happening with that. But I did see some stuff I'd be curious to try if it's available, if the shipping is right and if I catch the 45% off. She has a Honey and Hibiscus DC mask that looks interesting. She also has a Pear and Honey Curl Rehab mask and a Pear and Honey Aloe Curl Jelly. Next I want to mention Jane Carter because she sometimes has like 40% off, sometimes 50% off. I've even seen her do like 75% off on select items. I got some stuff from her 75% off already. She's one of those that her Cyber Monday sale is sometimes better than her Black Friday sale. So I will mention those two because sometimes, another inside trick, sometimes they come better on Cyber Monday than Black Friday. Sometimes they come better even like two weeks before Black Friday, but yeah, we're too late for that. Sorry. <laughs> and sometimes they actually come better for Christmas so it's just a matter of like getting to know the brands or if you're really industrious you can actually go back and look at their sales so I do that sometimes I'll go back to their old posts and see oh your sale was better on Christmas than Black Friday huh maybe I should wait for that one so I think like Sultanicals does that as well kind of ups it a little bit after and Blue Rose Beauty does that as well so but of course if you don't get it for Black Friday and the bigger sale doesn't happen don't blame me this, is, this whole video is like predictions. So as to what I like from Jane Carter, from the original line, I love the Curly Fining Cream. I'm actually out and I don't know when I'll get some more just because I have a lot of butters to go through. But that never did me wrong. Soft, defined curls. It's like a soft hold. I love that Curly Fining Cream. I think she has something else, like something with a similar name that is heavy and people don't like it. But try the Curly Fining Cream. That's what I like from the original. And I also like the leave-in spritz again i use that as a refreshing spray it's not as moisturizing as the curls leave-in spritz but it really reduces frizz so you know you spray it on well for me when i like spritz my hair it gets less frizzy and then if i spray that on top it kind of seals in that less frizzy look so this is the other one from the original line that i like the revitalizing leave-in conditioner spray from the new curls to go line, I love the Untangle Me Leave-In and the Coiling Oil Curls Elongating Gel. I would put a warning that a lot of people said they got flakes with these, so be careful, but my hair looked bomb. My hair looked wow, and I love it. Some people got flakes, but I think everybody loved how their hair looked. It's just that some people got flakes with it. I think I've mentioned some tips to reduce the chances of flakes, which is I usually put an oil in between these two or any, in between any leave-in and gel, I usually oil my ends after my leave-in. And I think this probably gets placed more as the hair gets older, so try, I don't usually reapply product, but try not to, or just try to put very minimal when you reapply to kind of maybe help prevent the flakes. So then we have the other type of sale that kind of puts like a flat price out, and generally they tend to be like 40 to 45% off, so I'm gonna mention them now. It could be a little more complicated to kind of figure out if it's a good deal or not, but you know, I just look back at the original prices. In the case where some things have variable prices, I focus more on the more expensive things to kind of get my deals. Starting with Buy Made Beautiful, they usually have $5 for everything, and their non sale regular price is like $9, so that's up there like 44% off. I am curious about the Inspire line, I'm curious about the Pre Pro Detangler, the Hydrating Jelly. 
and the creamy coconut milk conditioner but I've never tried by May Beautiful. TGIN is another one with one of those sales. I think they're doing they're doing $10 for everything and usually their price is like $16, $17 so that's about like 42% off. So a lot of her line contains silicones. I think everything except the green tea leave-in as far as I know contains silicone so I don't buy a lot of that stuff but I do buy the DC for when I get my trims because I like to use silicones before I do my blowout so you know I might pick up like a DC and a leave-in conditioner or something like that and I will definitely show you in my haul if I do get anything and a lot of people like her products so if you're not afraid of silicones then check it out <laughs> Blue Rose Beauty she had $10 off for everything last Black Friday and I think a couple of days after that she went down to $9 off for everything and her prices usually range from like maybe $14 to $18 on average. Of course, you don't just want to buy expensive ones you don't like, but like of the ones I like, try to get the more expensive ones to get a better sale at the end. <laughs> you know, so I think she does have like one or two things for $12. Those aren't the ones that I'm really looking for with the $10 for everything sale. I'm looking for the $16, $18 stuff. So what are my go-tos for her? The Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo. So I haven't tried her new version. I love the original version. My hair is moisturized, has lots of slip. My hair is defined, it doesn't strip my hair and it cleanses. So, good job. One of my favorite shampoos. The Chai Hair Tea. This is a real godsend. So this really, really, really drops your shedding. Like, I do black tea rinses as well, but this cuts my shedding even more than black tea rinses. So, if you want to control your shedding, for me I just have thick hair, so the less shedding the better anyway. But if you're experiencing shedding or you just want to reduce your shedding, then I would definitely give this try hair to your try. So as a deep conditioner, it's not like HG, but in terms of the result, in terms of reduced shedding, it's an HG for that. So the moisture is alright, the slip is alright, everything, but the result of reduced shedding, that's what really makes it the wow. And I always buy this as long as she's selling this. I really like her butters as well. Of course, I'm a kind of butter newbie, so I don't know. But her butters moisturize and define and do really well like as an LCO, which is how I use them. So I think you're pretty safe in trying any one of her butters. I have tried the Coconut Curly Custard and I love that one. I've tried others as well. I'm just kind of blanking on their names. But any of her butters, you're usually safe. In terms of the leave-ins, I like the Strawberry Hibiscus leave-in and the Coco Rose leave-in. If I could pick the Coco Rose leave-in, it would be my favorite because I think it's a little bit more creamy and moisturizing and stuff than the Strawberry Hibiscus. They're both pretty light, but I don't need a lot of heavy because of my hair being ultra low porosity. I just need light and penetrating and moisturizing. And this does the job. So now we get to Sultanicals and she sent it. So Sultanicals does like 40% off on Black Friday, I believe. And I think they got up to 50% off later on in the year. Like I don't know if it was Christmas or just before. Don't wait and blame me. I would probably, I might probably buy Black Friday myself because I want to try out her new like hair custom. Sultanicals right now has my HG leave-ins. So it's really winning on leave-ins. The slip and slide nut proof hair glide was my OG HG. And then now she has that um, frizz whiz, which I love, love, love even more. My hair just is glossy and moisturized and defined and add no flakes. So that one is my HGGG leave in at the moment. I actually have the salon size slip and slide nut proof hair glide. And this one, you know, no matter how rough of a wash day I had, I can put this in and forget all my troubles. So I really love this. It's kind of like my staple. This frizz whiz is a new wow that I had to rave about. My new run out of the bathroom screaming, oh my god, this is so good. So, got me a salon size of this too. So next year it's going to be a lot of Sultanicals in my life. And I love it. <laughs> These two leave-ins. My other picks from Sultanicals, this is one of my HG refreshing sprays. I use a DIY spray bottle, but I like to like top it with an with a HG refreshing spray. Especially if I'm trying to preserve my wash and go while I'm heading out somewhere. This hair sorrel king drink is really moisturizing. Smells really good, especially Caribbean people. And I don't know, it just it does a really good job with just refreshing your curls and stuff. So I love it and I recommend it. This deep conditioner is still my favorite from Sultanicals, the Afrotastic Curl Elastic. So a lot of people have kind of switched to the Fro Despair. But long story short, this is the one I'm sticking to. This is the one I prefer from her. So next is kind of like my day two 
brand, I guess, because Blue Rose was my original, the first kind of online brand that I fell in love with. And then she said it came along and I was like, woo, yeah, I love this too. She said it usually has like 40% off and they usually have like free shipping over a certain amount that I'm able to hit easily, just stocking up on my favorites. My recommendations for Sultanicals will definitely be this Rich Moisture DC. So this is super hydrating, so anytime I just really need to get like deep penetrating hydrating moisture, this is a deep conditioner I reach for. My favorite leave-in from her and my favorite leave-in for a long time before Sultanicals came and knocked me over with those <laughs> was this Cocoa Cream Leave-In Conditioner. So I still love this one. It's just really light, really penetrating, really defining. It's lighter. Like this and the blues are like the light lines. They're like lighter than the Sultanicals. So if you're looking for some light, penetrating, defining moisture, then definitely give this one a try. I also love this Blueberry Co-Wash Conditioner. So this is what I use as my staple co-wash. So I love the Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash, but it's really pricey and a little doesn't go a long way. This one a little goes a long way. So this is the one that I kind of reach for most times when I need a co-wash. And it really does the job in terms of cleansing without stripping. So this is a definitely one I'm sucking up on this Black Friday. I also love the Okra Reconstructor, but I haven't been using it as much. I think I mentioned in my last trim video that I wanted to probably get a little bit more protein in my life so I'm probably going to do the Afuji 2 minute keratin more as my protein treatment but if you're looking for light moisturizing amazing slip just perfect dash of protein I definitely recommend the Okra Reconstructor as well because that's my first HD protein treatment so this is it here that's the stuff and it's the good stuff Last but not least, I guess in my big Whopper sales is a Baskin Bloom. So I believe she has 40% off and like free shipping over something pretty reasonable as well. Definitely check her out. Great company, great customer service, really top quality products. And I'm definitely checking her out for Black Friday, so you will see that in my haul. That's on my list. I'm trying to go live for Black Friday, but she sent it and Baskin Bloom are my kind of definites. So Tanika is most likely going to get my money because she has a sales psychology master's doctorate in terms of getting people to buy stuff. So you so Tanika as far as know what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to say I'm not getting anything because I'm going to end up with something. I just know it because she's going to hit that sale to press all of our PJ buttons. So, but other than that, <laughs> I'm trying to go live, but we'll see. So anyway, Baskin Bloom, last but not least. I got my two new HGs in one wash day from Baskin Bloom recently. So that's PJ History, I guess, another PJ first. And they are my recommendations from Baskin Bloom. So I definitely recommend the Gentle Herbal Cleanser. It almost felt like a co-wash. It was so moisturizing and cleansing. I absolutely love this. This is like my new HG shampoo. Definitely, if you're buying Mask and Bloom, pick this up if you don't have a shampoo. My other new HGGG deep conditioner is this Baskin Bloom Rami Root Hair Mask. So it was like instant moisture, instant definition, instant slip. Even after rinsing, my hair had moisture definition and slip. So better it don't get. Definitely picking up some of these for Black Friday. And it's my superlative best ever deep conditioner. Get you some. I may also get her curling jelly. It did give me great results, but I have so many gels. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna get it. But I'm definitely getting the DC and well, the cleanser will probably last me. So I'm definitely going to stock up on some of those DCs. And I probably will end up getting a jelly maybe to round up to free shipping or something like that. So we'll see and you'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So Antoine Couture and Hair Beta also mentioned 40% off. But I'm not really sure about those lines. Antoine Couture just doesn't list their full ingredient list. And I cannot get down with that. So that's the main reason I haven't tried their stuff yet. But they do get good reviews and it is 40% off, so if you want to try them, I would say go ahead and give it a try. Here, Vader, when I went on their website, I couldn't really add anything to cart at the time. And I don't know if I could have seen the full ingredients at the time, but they said they'd be like reopening near Black Friday. So I'm keeping an eye out for them as well. They are 40% off and I will be back on their website to check out their sales and their products. And I just might get something. Bakura of the awesome products that are crazy, are you mad, are you ill, are you okay, expensive. So they usually also have a little something for Black Friday. Some years they give you free shipping when they're feeling generous. And those years I might get two things. My recommendation from Bakura is the Honey Latte Milk, which I love. I did a review on this and I'm just in love. 
So I would definitely get this if they give me half a chance this Black Friday. I'll pick up one of these, just one because the price is, yeah. And also the Yam DC, I also love that one. We're not done yet because we can't be done yet because I haven't talked about Camille Rose yet. So Camille Rose is one of those where the sale isn't great. But if you love her products, it's the best you're going to get. So get it if you want to get it. It's one of those like, we ain't about you and your Black Friday. You want to get this? You want this? Get it. She usually has like 25% off. I want to say I recommend her leave-in collection, but I just like the latte. I like the oil, but I hardly use it because I would do the oil probably just to take down twists. The latte I like is the leave-in. The honey, I'm still, I'm not sure about. I still have to get back to doing that honey video. My issues from her would be this Camille Rose Caramel Cool Wash. There's nothing else like it in the world in terms of cleansing, moisturizing, and defining co wash. This is definitely all of it. Of course, we have to talk about a curl maker. So if you like your natural curl and just want the most moisturized, softest hair you ever had in your whole life, I would say get this. Maybe not as fine as some others, but your hair is soft when I tell you. I do love the curl in the aloe with butter. I don't know which one is better, but I have this one open right now, so I'm just gonna wave it in your face, which is the aloe with butter gel. So it does give you nice moisture nice definition and a pretty soft hold but it's really good it works really well for a cream in lco again that's kind of how i use my butters at least so far so that's it i'm done i promised i would come on and just get this tail information out to you it's already tuesday and i really need to get it out before black friday so here i am i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful i hope the recommendations were helpful and let me know if you've tried any of these lines and what you recommend down below correct my sale numbers if you can because I know I'm announcing some of these before they announced it with my predictions so correct my sales predictions if you can and let's just have fun down below let me know what you're getting for Black Friday look out for my haul look out for my reviews see you in the next one <laughs> bye